Hey Star Trek fans, haven't you always wished the computer from Star Trek was a real thing? Well today's your lucky day, because I'm going to show you how you can transform any Android smartphone into the computer from Star Trek, complete with visual effects, sound effects, and voice commands. But before I show you how to do it, let's take a look at the finished product. So you can see here that I have um, the Star Trek computer running on my phone, and this is a Samsung Galaxy S4, but this will work with any Android phone. And we've got different buttons. That's a bit loud. Let me turn down the volume a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> um, and then we also have, uh, you can increase and decrease the screen brightness. Uh, you can do the same thing with the volume there, which I probably should just show you right now. So let's uh, increase the volume by one level. There you go. Um, and uh, you can initiate a red alert. And you can do practical things like launching different programs. So if you have a social network that you want to launch. But what's also really cool is you can do voice commands as well. Computer, launch Facebook. Program loaded and ready. Computer, launch the camera. Program loaded and ready. Computer, text my wife and tell her Star Trek rocks. Message transmitted. And we can see that um, we have just sent my wife a message, and it says Star Trek rocks. That happened just now. Uh, but let's say that I wanted to talk to her. Computer, call my wife. Computer, call my wife. Now establishing data link. So it's launched the phone app for me, and all I have to do is hit enter, and uh, it will initiate the, uh, the conversation. Uh, we can also do silly things. Um, let's see. Computer, please locate Captain Picard. The captain is not on the ship. So yeah, it's, it's really versatile. You can do virtually anything you could think of. Uh, you can set the voice commands to uh, launch different applications, to uh, change different settings in the phone, turn on or off Wi-Fi. Um, and then you have the buttons on here, which you can assign different um, sound effects. And then if I can get this in focus, my camera's having a little trouble focusing. There we go. Uh, you also have the uh, start date up here which you can change to uh, a more readable for layman folks. Um, and then w down here I have um, the launch bar and I have hidden some of my most used applications so I can just swipe over. And um, like I said, you can you can um, have... Program loaded and ready. Oops. I just uh, started one of my applications on accident. Um, you can set these buttons to be anything that you would want. So it's very, very cool. In the next section of this video, I'm going to go through all of the steps on how to set up your phone like this. Um, do note that you do not have to have root. This is one of those times that root is not required at all. Um, you only have to download a couple applications from the Google Play Store. Uh, I think in total I've spent about $7 to get my phone set up this way. And uh, it's actually not that difficult. You do need to put in a little time to program your phone for the audio commands. Um, to set up the visual, it doesn't take hardly any time at all. To set up the audio commands, it does take a little while. Um, and then you also have to download some free audio files from online. But really, you can get this set up in mm, 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, it's very, very cool. Uh, I think every Star Trek fan is going to like this. Um, your phone is still very usable as well. Um, so we've still got our notifications up here. You just swipe down. I just have it hidden. We've still got the app drawer down here. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the next portion of this video. Hey guys, welcome back to part two of how to turn your phone into the computer from Star Trek. Uh, I'm starting with a blank slate. Uh, 
I'm starting back with the default look of my phone. Uh, I have already downloaded the programs that we will be using today, just so you don't have to watch me spend the time downloading stuff from the Google Play Store. There are four programs you're going to need to download, um, although two of them you'll only need for the visuals, and two of them you'll need for the sound effects, so depending on uh, if you only want the visuals, you can uh, download just those. So for the visuals, it's Nova Launcher and Star Trek Phone Live, Live Wallpaper. And for the audio, for the voice commands, it's Tasker and Audio Voice. Um, the visuals you can set up really quickly, uh, probably in under five minutes. The auto, the, the voice commands takes a little while longer. That's what probably would take, um, depending on how many voice commands you want to program, uh, anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes, just depending. Especially if you're new to Tasker. Uh, if you're new to Tasker, I recommend checking out some other videos as well uh, that will go more in-depth on what Tasker can do. But anyways, let's get started. So um, I'm using Nova Launcher, and before you do anything, you should probably go in and make a backup of uh, your settings. So you just hit the backup here, um, you name your backup, whatever you want, so that way you can get back to your original uh, home screen, home launcher, um, assuming that you've used Nova Launcher before. Um, as you can see, I have already created my Conrad default and then Star Trek, um, so the before and after I've saved on here, and I can switch back between them very easily, which is nice. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I, after making a backup, I'm going to go ahead and just remove everything from all of my home screens on my phone, because we're going to be using the live wallpaper to essentially um, set up all of our, uh, or at least the majority of our um, uh, applications. So we have a blank slate now, and what we want to do next is we want to get rid of this little swipey thing down here. I'd also like to hide the notification bar just so it completely looks like Star Trek when we apply the wallpaper. So we're going to go back to Nova Settings. And we are going to go to Desktop. Let's do Home Screen. So oh, actually, no. Let's do... Let's do scroll effect and let's do none and then hit OK. And we're going to get rid of the scroll indicator, I guess that's what it's called. Scroll indicator is none. Let's hit back. Now let's go to the dock and we'll get rid of the show divider. We'll also do small icons. Oh, small icons is already enabled. Um, and then let's get rid of the notification bar. I think that's under look and feel as well, probably. Notification bar. Yeah, show notification bar we are going to uncheck. Now if we go back to our home screen, really it's blank now. We have no notification bar up here, although you can swipe down to reveal it and bring it back. And then down here, the only thing we have is our app launcher. So pretty much we're starting with a blank slate, and this is the way I like it. You can, you don't have to do everything I do, but this is what I recommend. Um, now, assuming that you've already installed the Star Trek phone live wallpaper, which you get from the Android App Store, long press, go to Wallpapers, and go to Wallpapers again. Scroll over until you find the Star Trek phone live wallpaper. Hit that, hit that wallpaper. And now, essentially, we've already got the look of the Star Trek computer all set up. You can swipe through the different uh, home screens on here. Um, now, if some of these buttons I already had configured before, um, but what did we We did that in like less than three or four minutes. We got the look of the Star Trek computer. And the, uh, the button sound effects come with the home screen launcher. Uh, it's just the uh, visual effects that don't. So let me show you how to configure this now. So uh, go to the setup, and we're going to create uh, our own custom app, uh, or app icon, I guess. Uh, let's do this under tactical, and we'll, we will do button 2, and let's do... Um, 
Hmm. I don't know. What's a good app to do? Uh, da, 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 da. We'll do Messenger. Hit OK, and now you can choose the app you want to launch. So I'll select Messenger, and now we'll go back to our screen, and there you can see Messenger is now there. So now if we click on the button, launches Messenger for us, and you can do that with all these buttons. By default, uh, they don't launch any applications, they just make sounds, uh, but you can add in all the applications that you want to launch, and so the the look and feel of the Star Trek computer is super simple to get. The voice commands are a bit more complicated. So this is where uh, you're going to want to be patient and you're going to probably, this video is not going to be enough to teach you everything for the voice commands, um, but uh, you'll also want to check out some other videos. Now let's create our first voice command. You're going to need both Tasker and Auto Voice, and you want to go into Auto Voice and turn Control Continuous to On so that it's always listening. Then go into Tasker, and we are going to create a new profile uh, with the plus button here, and then go to Event, Plugin, Auto Voice Recognized, Configuration, we're going to hit the little uh, pencil icon there, and we're going to do a self-destruct command, so let's type in the command that we wanted to listen to, or listen for, so we put self-destruct, hit OK, hit the checkbox, hit back, now we want to create a new task, and we'll call this uh, destruct and it's 2 because I've done this before so this is just for demos destruct 2 and now what do we actually want it to do after the voice command is recognized we're going to hit add and we're going to go to media and mu music play and now you will already need the audio files downloaded to your phone but I have a link in the description where you can download some free audio files for this and I'm going to go to my external storage because that's where I have it on my phone so oh, Star Trek sounds let's go to auto destruct there we are and then hit back hit back and we now have, we can rename this to something more interesting. Um, Self-destruct. Hold on one second. Okay, self. We'll just do self D. Okay, there we go. And now we will exit. And yes, save the information. And now let's test it out. Okay, computer, initiate self-destruct. Initiate self-destruct. And there, we did our first voice command. Uh, and obviously with Tasker, you can have it load things, perform functions on your phone, um, play audio files. So let's try that one more time. Computer, launch self-destruct. And you can you can change that to out to be any MP3 or WAV file that you want. Um, so this is just a quick demo of a basic voice command. As you saw in the beginning of the video, I had way more complicated ones than this. But to teach you Tasker would just take too long. Um, but this is a basic voice command that you can do. So yeah, that now you know both the look and feel of how to get um, the Star Trek computer, as well as how to do voice commands. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked this video, please share it with your friends. Also, I do videos a couple times a week about Android and Android Wear and other computer-related topics. So if you're into that sort of stuff, uh, go ahead and hit, hit the subscribe button. Uh, later this week, I am going to be showing you 
how to get the Star Trek computer on your watch. As you can see, I've got the time, I've got the date, and I've got my name down there. So if that's something you'd be interested, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, and you'll find out later this week how to get the Star Trek computer on your watch as well. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, or if you didn't, either way, uh, comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, what you'd like to see next. Uh, until next time.